Puberty in girls is the period which links childhood to adulthood. It is the period of gradual development of secondary sexual characteristics. This occurs at the age of 12 years in girls and 14 years in boys. As described by Tanner and Marshall, five important physical changes are evident during puberty. The most common order is beginning of growth spurt, followed by breast budding, also known as thalark, followed by pubic and axillary hair growth or adrenarch, peak growth in height, and menstruation, that is menarche. All these changes are usually completed between the age of 10 and 16 years. At the age of 6 to 8 years, the estrogen, although present in low amount, provides negative feedback effect to the hypothalamic pituitary system. So no gonadotrophic hormones are produced and hence menstruation does not occur. But as puberty approaches, this negative feedback effect of estrogen is gradually lost. This results in some significant changes in the endocrine function of the girl. Now let's look at some of the changes that occur due to hormones during puberty. Sudden spurt in height just before or after the menarche due to growth hormone produced by anterior pituitary. Enlargement of thyroid gland due to thyroid stimulating hormone. Increased adrenal cortical activity due to adrenocorticotrophic hormone. Skin pigmentation due to melanocyte stimulating hormone. And the onset of ovarian activity due to gonadotrophin effect. If you want to remember these changes, I have made a mnemonic and that is flat mug. F stands for follicular stimulating hormone, L for luteinizing hormone, A for adrenocorticotrophic hormone, T for thyroid stimulating hormone, M for melanocyte stimulating hormone and G for growth hormone. Now briefly about menarche. It is the onset of first menstruation in life and may occur anywhere between 10 and 16 years of age, the peak time being 13 years. The preoptic area of hypothalamus produces gonadotrophin releasing hormone. That hormone moves through the infundibulum to the anterior pituitary. And this hormone stimulates anterior pituitary to produce gonadotrophins such as follicular stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. These hormones moves to the ovary and causes the release of estrogen from the ovary. Estrogen causes endometrial proliferation and when the level of estrogen drops temporarily, the endometrium sheds and bleeding is visible and this is menstruation or menarche. It denotes an intact hypothalamic pituitary ovarian axis, functioning ovaries, presence of responsive endometrium to the endogenous ovarian steroids and the presence of a patent uterovaginal canal. The first period is usually an ovular means no ovum is set out. The ovulation may be irregular for a variable period following menarche and may take about two years for regular ovulation to occur.
growth of height in an adolescent girl is mainly due to hormones. The important hormones are growth hormone, estrogen and insulin-like growth factor. The bone or skeletal age is determined by x-ray of hand or knee. Let's look at some changes in the genital organs. The elongated shape of ovaries becomes bulky and oval due to follicular enlargement at various stages of development. The uterine body and the cervix ratio at birth is about 1 is to 2. The ratio becomes 1 is to 1 when menarche occurs. Thereafter, the enlargement of the body occurs rapidly so that the ratio soon becomes 2 is to 1. According to Tanner, breast and pubic hair development at puberty are divided into five stages. First, let's learn the stages of breast development. Stage 1 is prepubertal state and there is elevation of papilla only. In stage 2, there is elevation of breast and papilla along with increased diameter of the areola. In stage 3, there is further enlargement of the entire breast. In stage 4, secondary mount of areola and papilla projecting above the breast tissue. And in stage 5, recession of areola to contour of breast is appreciated. Now moving on to the tenor stage of pubic hair development. In stage 1, there is no pubic hair present. In stage 2, sparse, long pigmented hair, mainly along Lavia Mesora. In stage 3, dark, coarse, curled hair, sparsely spread over months. In stage 4, adult type, abundant hair, but limited to months. And in stage 5, adult hair with inverted triangular distribution covering the medial thighs.